Boom. So, car and sales hurt your parents' feelings. Uh, you know, I've always thought that I would enjoy having this kind of discussion or at least an ability to make something and put my ideas on certain projects that I enjoy. So I decided, you know, March 1st, this project dropped and I listened to it for a couple weeks and I thought, you know what, fuck it, why not? Let me just put something out there, get some ideas off and see what happens. Um, so yeah, Karn Hill is a UK producer who's very well known for being prolific in the UK drill scene. The sound has kind of defined the genre and the space for the better half of a decade. And I remember, I think, um, the first time I heard him, I just realized, you know, right away that there was something unique about his sound. There was something, you know, so special about how he was putting together his tracks that, you know, would later on become the defining sound of the drill scene. Uh, to me, I think Karnso has kind of been always going every year. His sound has always been evolving. And even when, you know, at times in 2018, it felt like the drill sound was getting a bit saturated, he still managed to be to keep it interesting. He always brings new ideas to the table. He isn't afraid to, you know, deviate from the norm and kind of venture out into new spaces. So that's something that I've always appreciated about him. And you know, if I'm being completely honest, that's kind of what smashed the the last three four mixtapes out the park for me for him. Um, 2018 was fantastic for me personally, just because I enjoyed, you know, the blueprint and the dark print uh, mixtapes uh, so much. Um, from him. I also enjoyed the Family First project and the the mixtape that he did with the Zone 2 uh, group. Um, but you know, one of the things that when I came into, you know, Hurt Your Parents Feelings, I really enjoyed were, you know, seeing the same vein of collaboration, the same vein of kind of including everyone in the scene and bringing together everyone that he's worked with and put out projects with. Uh, you know, that kind of inclusivity within the scene is always great to see, but I also think what's great about that is that it makes uh, Carnsville mixtapes a lot more interesting. It's just because you have this mix of styles. And one thing is, you know, 6-7 on a Carnsville beat is very unique. Uh, but there's also something special about hearing new takes on it and new styles and new flows, younger guys on it. And seeing, you know, a console beat can evolve and change. There's something to offer and you don't have to be, you know, a, a part of 6-7 and been in the crew for 10 years or so to kind of bring something new to the table. So, what did I enjoy going into this? Uh, I mean, I, I, two weeks later, I think there's, you know, this is a watershed moment for the drill scene. Um, I think Hurt Your Parents Feeling is special because one is that if you've been in the scene and you understand where the mixtape title comes in from you already find it amusing um hurt your parents feelings is part of his iconic producer tag and to see it on a mixtape title you always know it's going to be quality two is i think it's an iconic moment just because i think when you look at the moment that it is in drill music is that you kind of have the second third generation of drill artists coming through and with a project like this uh Carnsell brings together a lot of the guys who are coming up a lot of the younger G's in the 6-7 crew along with the staples to kind of make you know as weird as it sounds it makes it feel like a family and it makes it feel like you know this is a moment that you can come back in a year and two years later and you'll understand exactly where the drill, drill scene is in 2019 um, so yeah going through it things I was excited to see I mean I was going through it and you know standouts is always his feature list. I, I was looking at it and, you know, he has a track on here with K-Trap, Heady One, and Blade Brown. And to me, before I even listen to it, it sounds like a fucking Champions League lineup. Uh, it sounds like a Barcelona uh, attacking formation right there. Um, then, you know, having Young's Teflon on it. And to me, Young's Teflon is, uh, is one of those artists that I've always admired and I always thought that, you know, I would, I would like to see more consistent work and more consistent output. Uh, you have Do Road, you have SJ, uh, you have B9 and Trizak from Zone 2, along with Quang Face. So, to me, this is a stacked lineup, and I wanted to kind of give it a chance to uh, resonate for a while and then come back and record this video to kind of go track by track, uh, share with you some of the highlights and what I enjoy about it. And maybe if you haven't checked it out, you'll go check it out. Fuck it, why not? Let's go. Also, um, one thing that I would like to say and like to put out, you know, ahead of the game is that, you know, I'm not someone that would ever say that I'm well versed or well informed of the entirety of things that are going on in the drill scene. Uh, 
I've always appreciated from a distance and I've appreciated it for several years now and I think I've had enough exposure to it that you know I can have an appreciation for it and I can share an opinion of someone who's a fan first uh, more than anything uh, but you know with that being said is I'm not gonna say that I'll get all the affiliations all the names and all the crews and things like that correct so please feel free to correct me on those things it's just that I think it's very hard to find information and kind of pick up those things when the scene is changing so fast and there's a big uh, emphasis on anonymity so you know what that's my disclaimer is that I'm not saying I'm super informed if anyone can correct me on certain things please feel free to do so uh, and yeah that's it so we'll get back into it cheers so yeah kicking things off we have the intro track uh, which features ST, Dimzy and LD ST is one of the younger guys coming up in 6-7 and to me I've always wanted to hear more of the younger guys at 6-7 but you know I'm always very happy with how 6-7 manages and kind of their output is that they never oversaturate the market too much and I think with the younger guys coming up it's good that they take their time to kind of cut their chops and you can really hear uh, you know the potential to me the first 16 bars on this track is just fucking nuts uh, it kind of sets the tone and I think intro tracks especially in UK hip hop projects are fantastic and it's sort of an art form where once you hear an intro track you know what to expect from the project and to me the intro track is so good it might it might just be you know one of my favorite pro uh, favorite tracks on this album um sd once again i'm more excited to see him on this project and kind of picking things off uh, dimsy and ld top notch as always uh next up we have the 1010 track featuring dp from uh, i think section boys smoke boys uh swift and dimsy uh the one thing i will say is that with this track one thing i noticed is that carnsville sound is really evolving it's turning into amalgamation of so many different elements uh, definitely there's a bop to it there's the hi-hats and the snare pattern reminds me a lot of the ATL rap sound that's been taking off in 2018 and to kind of hear it weaved into the drill sound uh, you know what I have to say I'm vibing with it it's uh, it's interesting um, one of the things I will say is that I do have to check out more of the Swift I think it's Swift it's Swift from the AV9 crew from uh, I'm not sure so I think Swift is from the Irish uh, drill group AB9 but I definitely need to check it out and then I don't know who says it I think Dimsy dropped a bar about uh, I call it the vegan bar but I remember the first time I heard him say um, something like I need to sound interested because I need her to come hold these beaters but I laughed out loud it, it, it's just you know one of those things where I think in the drill scene it's very it's very easy to get carried away with the serious nature of the lyrics but Dimsy's always been great at kind of having these like very quirky one two bars that just makes me laugh and uh, yeah on this track that bar never fails to make me smile and the, the, just the approach and the delivery is so cold that for a minute there you're just like damn like that's that's some harsh shit to say uh but yeah 1010 definitely another good track uh to check out next up we have um, Y, which features K Trap, LD, Heady One, and Blade Brown. I mean, man are out here moving like the Barcelona front three found. It's, it's on a next. It, it, I mean, when I see this on the liner notes, even, I'm just like, you know, it, you just have to appreciate this track. And one thing I will say is that instrumentally, from a console perspective, it isn't, you know, it isn't something that's going to be completely game changing. It isn't, you know, like a loose screws. It isn't. A production that where he's taking center stage I think one of the special things about this track is that he kind of allows these these you know this heavy lineup to really breathe and shine um, K trap LD heady one blade ground they all do their thing they all bring their own flavor but the instrumental isn't so you know demanding it isn't the main focus of this track and to me that's a compliment on its own right is that if, if, if four artists can come together and bring their own flavor and sound and make a cohesive track together you have to give credit to the producer and that's what you know Carnes Hill brings to this track um, next of course we have bubblegum by Young's Teflon to me another another artist that I'm always excited to see featured um, I definitely think you know with Young's Teflon is that I've seen more freestyles of him than I've seen tracks but he's always been someone that from a lyrical perspective has been a cut about the rest I think 
with Young Teflon, I've always felt that he's a guy that's very intuitive with his wordplay, very intuitive with his references. And to me, that kind of bleeds through this track. Uh, he has this track about uh, being offset and everything's takeoff. Like he has these very quirky and quick one line uh, plays into his, into his verses that I think make it, makes him very unique and sets him apart from the rest. Uh, and then the hook on this track is just, it's an earworm. Uh, it got, like it pissed me off to a certain point because you know, the hook was just stuck in my ear for days after I first heard it. Uh, but yeah, definitely a fantastic track to check out. Uh, up next is Endless, which I think is another highlight of mine on this project. Endless features DP, Dibsy, and Mischief. Uh, to me, this is kind of the, the counterpoint to the track uh, called Why with K-Trap, LD, Heady One, where, um, you know, this instrumental kicks things off and right away from the first note, you know it has that unique grimy console fa flavor to it. It's uh, It has a lot of character to it and uh, to me, it's just a smashing track. You, you, you listen to it and you have to listen to it again, which is probably the best compliment you can give to a track on this uh, project. Uh, next we have Tonight It's Family featuring an all 6-7 uh, lineup with Monkey, Dimsy and LD. To me, you know, if you enjoy uh, Family First, uh, you're gonna smash this and uh, you're gonna enjoy this as always. To me, Carnso with 6-7, it's something where as a listener, it's easy to get spoiled just because they deliver so much consistency uh, together as a group and as a producer and, a, and, and as a rap group that you know it's easy to overlook how much quality they they put out but tonight is family is once again another six seven project or another six seven track that's worth checking out uh next hammers for days track seven featuring quang face and karma and monkey on it as well uh to me hammers for days is another staples console track is that if anyone wants to know what a console beat sounds like and what it's supposed to bring to the table in the drill scene Hammers for Days brings, uh, you know, a very strong case to, uh, to the table. Uh, one of the highlights for me is that, you know, after the, the, the Hillside Zoo project that came out last year with uh, Carnsell and Zone 2, um, I've always thought that, you know, that's an underrated project. People appreciate it, but I don't think they appreciate it en enough where, you know, Quangface and Karma, they work with Carnsell production style so well. And as, you know, I would say newer faces on the scene, I'm just so excited to always hear them on a track, um, Quangface especially. But, you know, Hammers for Days is one of those things where I heard it and I, the first thought that came to my mind is, man, I need to go listen to Hillside Zoo again. Uh, but yeah, definitely a highlight on this album. Or, I say album, but I, I keep meaning mixtape. Uh, next we have um, Scribs and SJ on Canadian Fur. And, you know, similar to Bubblegum. I'm so, like, I have a love-hate relationship with the chorus and the hook on this. It's just that it's so catchy that it gets to a point where it pisses me off. Uh, but once again, SJ, I think uh, he's one of the youngers on uh, the 6 7 crew. And hear him, hearing him get a spotlight on this track is tremendous. Um, Scribs, I mean, I won't say too much, but let's just say that this track very well was calling for an LD feature. I'm not sure uh, if we'll get one, but Scribs, SJ, and LD would be a very fun combination to work with. Um, I won't say anything else. Uh, track 9, Polo. Uh, yeah, this one, you know, Southside JB's on this track. Uh, one thing I will say is that I'm always excited to see Southside JB on this just because I think he's one of those MCs that's always interweaving. He's very versatile. I, I'll hear him on a grime track one day and the next day he'll be on a, on a drill track to me. It really speaks volumes to his versatility and his lyricism. Uh, but one thing I will say is I think in terms of a console and Southside JB collaboration, I definitely would say I've enjoyed the stuff that came out on, I think it was the the Dark Prince uh, last year um, a bit more than I enjoyed his feature on this track. It's still a great track, uh, definitely worth checking out. Um, but yeah, it, it just you know didn't stand out to me as his previous collaborations on the on the Blueprint. Uh, and then we get to track number ten called WD40, and this features Young's Teflon, which you, which I've already said I'm a big fan of, uh, Do Road and SJ, and. To me, this, 
outside the intro, this has to be one of my favorite tracks on this mixtape. I think this smashes it even if it's not on this mixtape. It's just such a tremendous track from every single perspective. You look at it from the production side, it's just relentless from the get-go. You hear the first 18 bars and you know you're in for uh, something special. Um, and Carnsville does, does it justice. It's so good, in fact, that I think, you know, if this in fact came out with, you know, and an LD feature and an LD in the lineup that this could very well end up with something like a Skepta feature down the road. It's that good of a track. Uh, to me, I was listening to it and I'm like, you know what? This sounds like Neighborhood Watch. Uh, this, like it's it's that good in quality. So if you haven't picked up any of the tracks from this mixtape and there's one track you want to check out, please check out WD40. Now, what could I say about the, the guys on this track? Young Teflon, once again, amazing wordplay. Uh, my guy came out with the racist and the take a reference and to me I've always said this man's quirky he got bars he got lyricism and when you kick off a track with a take a reference like that You just know it's just gonna be a fantastic track uh, Do Road I mean I Keep saying this about so many guys do roads one of those guys that has something special and every time I hear him I'm always eager to hear more SJ as well um, but yeah, this trifecta, they murdered this track. Like, all three of them are relentless. They're, they they attack this track with so much tenacity that it's fantastic to get a production that's so powerful and then get three guys on this track that are willing to step up to the plate and smash it out the park. But yeah, WD-40, I've already rinsed it so many times that, you know, I'm not ashamed to say that I will probably be li listening to it well into the summer as well. Um, Next, we're getting to the final third of this uh, mixtape. We have Last Time with K-Trap and Dimsy. Uh, this is one of those flavors again where I hear a lot of the ATL sound bleeding through and K-Trap obviously does his thing. Um, you know, one thing that I enjoy with this track is K-Trap and Dimsy are almost counterweights to each other. Uh, and you know what, to be fair, it's a compliment to, to Dimsy's approach because he has such a unique laid back approach that I think it's just a combination that works so well that you know, I'm not uh, like I wouldn't be. Um, I wouldn't be, you know, too far off by wanting to hear more of them in the future. Uh, track 12, Duck Drive and Dashin. Man, Duck Drive and Dashin. This is this is, you know, one of those tracks where once again the hook is there, the chorus is there. Uh, I like I hate myself for how much I enjoy this this hook. It's just fantastic. Uh, it gets stuck stuck in in your head. Um, and you know it's it's one of those tracks that's very light-hearted for me at least uh track number 13 is spinners uh featuring v9 uh to me v9 is one of those artists again that is just waiting he like i can see 2019 being one of those years that he just eats it alive um to me delivery and flow of him is underrated to see him getting a, a featured track on a console beat is you know it's a nod towards you know how much i guess console rates him uh, and then he's featured again on the last track with dimzy but we'll get to that uh next one we have suspect young stefan and dimzy on everywhere we go um which is once again a quality track i enjoyed it uh, to me you know it, it, it was one of those tracks where with suspect i think he, he's a guy that has a lot of versatility to him so he doesn't sound odd on a drill beat a hip a hip-hop beat or rap beat uh, he's just very flexible um, 15 we have like me featuring Trizak from zone 2 uh, and to me once again I think zone 2 and Karn so is, is in my opinion is a fantastic match uh, but yeah Trizak does his thing uh, I enjoy this track a lot more and I think it kind of builds up to a very strong finish on the project. And then track 16, we finally have Stupid Guys featuring Dimsy and V9, which to me is such a strong finish to the project. Uh, Dimsy's delivery and flow is iconic on this. It's like, to me, it's just, he's so laid back. He's so cool in his delivery style and his tone that, you know, to me, when, he, when, he's, when he's on this course and he's talking about Stupid Guys, it's just one of those things where it's a, it's a dimsy staple, right? Um, and you have that and then you have V9 on this track whose flow and delivery is underrated as I always say and it just makes for a fantastic uh, track to end this project on. And that's that. And that's uh, Hurt Your Parents Feelings from Car Soul 2019. I mean, if you are new to the drill scene, I definitely think 
this is a project where you can approach and take something off of it. If you're a fan of the drill scene, I think you're still going to be excited by it just because you're going to see a lot of features on here that are going to excite you just because um, the guys on here who made a name for themselves. And then there's also a good balance of young guys coming through that you're excited to hear more of. Uh, what am I looking forward to? I mean, I'm sure Cogtail has more in the works. And that's the, that's the great thing about this is that I can enjoy it for what it is and always be on the lookout that, you know, in a couple of months, there's always going to be something fresh coming out. But yeah, I just thought, you know, I've been meaning to kind of do something and put something out there, uh, share my views and thoughts on certain projects. Um, and I thought I'd start things off with this and see where it goes. I'm excited to kind of do more music reviews and things like that in the future. Hey, for now, this is Card Sills Hurt Your Parents' Feelings. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. I've enjoyed it. He smashed it. Young Denzel.